Hello, this is Mr. Kenyanola, and I'm going to tell you about this shape right here called the trapezoid. All right, so trapezoid, trapezoids, trapezoid um, is kind of similar to a parallelogram, but uh, don't get confused. It doesn't inherit any of the five facts from parallelograms. The only thing that it has in common is that it has four sides and the angles add up to 360 so those two things but none of the five facts that we've talked about in previous videos so trapezoid what makes a trapezoid a trapezoid if you look at it closely look at it closely 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 closely, 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 closely. one fact the main fact about trapezoids is that it has only it has exactly one pair of parallel lines look this line is definitely not parallel to this line because they're going in opposite directions they're gonna meet at some point in life uh, but these two will never meet oh that's so sad they'll never meet each other uh, so let's put one arrow here and one arrow here so fact number one about trapezoids exactly oops exactly one pair of parallel sides they won't ever intersect it's so sad in life never intersect okay uh, so what does that tell us well let's name this trapezoid uh, T R A P what an original name trapezoid trap and so because these lines are parallel just these two it tells us something um, if we draw this and if we draw this those are the parallel lines and if we try if we highlight that huh, that's a transversal and so my question for you is what is true about angle T and angle P what kind of angles are those two think 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 yep they are consecutive interior angles and what is true about consecutive interior angles they add up to 180 degrees yes they're supplementary so T plus P add up to 180 degrees because they're consecutive interior angles and if I we do the same thing continue this parallel line over here continue this parallel line here and then this transversal same thing um, these are consecutive interior angles so R plus A both add up to 180 degrees they are supplementary however look at P and A yeah those are consecutive interior angles but do they have are they supplementary do they add up to 180 degrees no because these lines are not parallel so put in a little uh, let's put in in a different color Let's put P plus A does not add up to 180 degrees because these lines are not parallel. And same thing, T plus R does not add up to 180 degrees because these lines are not parallel. Only these two. So big thing is this, that, and that. Only these consecutive interior angles add up to 180. These two do not. So, fact number two. Only two pairs of consecutive interior angles are sup -la supplementary. All right, so only the angles that um, are formed by that are sandwiched by the parallel lines. So T and P are sandwiched by the parallel lines. R and A are sandwiched by the parallel lines. So those are the only ones that add up to 180 degrees. These two are not sandwiched by parallel lines, so no, no, no. Okay, so for example, um, I'm gonna have my calculator just in case. So let's say that this angle right here is, hmm, uh, it looks like an obtuse angle. So let's say that this is 132 degrees. What's 
What's the measure of this angle? Well, they're supplementary. So 180 minus 132, 48, 48, yeah. We can't figure out this angle um, based off of these numbers. So yeah, that's it. If you have to have uh, at least one of these angles to get this angle, and then if you had the measure of this angle, then you could get that angle. But right now, we can't use these to get that angle. Uh, so let's give you another example. All right, so here, find the value of x in this trapezoid. Well, let's, let's identify which lines are parallel. TQ is parallel to SR. These are consecutive interior angles that are in between the parallel lines. So we can say that they are supplementary. 80 plus 21x minus 5 add up to 180 degrees. Let's combine like terms. 80 minus 5 is 75 plus 21x equals 180 degrees. And we're going to subtract 75 from both sides. 21x is equal to 105. Last step, divide by 21. x is equal to, I'm going to say 5, but if you don't believe me, I'm going to grab my calculator and 105 divided by, not times, divided by 21 is 5. All right, x is equal to 5. There you go, there's x in this trapezoid. Whoa, so there's that. Oh, I revealed the next question, but you don't have the information for the next one. So trapezoids, uh, the next fact about trapezoids is this. If TP, see this line right here, this transversal, if you find the midpoint, and if you find the midpoint of RA, so let's just say it's right there, and connect the dots, You would be you would make this line right here called the mid seg mint. Hopefully you drew a large enough trapezoid to put all this stuff in here. Okay, the mid segment is parallel to the other lines. Yeah. So all three of these lines are parallel, so you could come up with some other rules like these add up to 180. These are corresponding, so these are the same. So you can look at that. Think about those a little more. Um, but right now we're um, we're going to focus on the length of this mid segment. Okay. So to find the length of this mid segment or the mid segment formula, we have to know the measures of these two lines right here. This line right here, this side is called a base. So we're going to call this base one. And this side right here is called base 2. And this may sound familiar if you remember the formula for the area of a trapezoid, B1 plus B2 uh, times H t divided by 2. Well, the mid-segment is just oh, is very close to the formula of a trapezoid. So to find the length of the mid-segment, it's the average of these two because these are midpoints. So it's B1 plus B2 b2 divided by 2. So that's the formula for the mid-segment. So let's just say, for example, well, let me see my example. Yeah, let's say, for example, the length of b1 is eh, 7. Let's say the length of b2 is hmm, 12. So what would the length of this mid-segment be? Well, we're going to add them. 7 plus 12 divided by 2, which would be 19 divided by 2, which would be 9.5. So this mid-segment's length would be 9.5, the average of the two bases. So trapezoids have two bases, and the bases are the lines that are parallel. And to find the mid-segment, you take the two bases, add them, and divide by 2. If you want to find the area, then multiply by the height. Okay, so here is an example using that mid-segment formula. Hold on, let's go back to this. If you have your highlighter, highlight this, this mid-segment formula. That's pretty important right there. Okay, so mid-segment formula, B1 plus B2 divided by two. The length of the line that is formed by two midpoints. If you connect two midpoints, 
you have the mid segment. Okay, example number two. Draw this in your notebooks. Follow along with me. Press pause if you think you could do this faster than me. So NM is the mid segment of trapezoid TUVW. Find the value of X. So here's a mid segment. Here are the two bases. So here's a formula. Uh, 22 plus 16 divided by 2 uh, is equal to this mid segment, which is 2x minus 5. Yes? Base 1 plus base 2 divided by 2 is equal to the mid segment. And they give us information about the mid segment. They give us the two bases. And we're just going to set them equal to each other when we uh, use the formula. So 22 plus 16, I believe, is 38. But let's make sure, using a calculator, 38. Uh, and divided by 2 is 19 equals 2x minus 5. Um, let's add 5 to both sides, which is 24 is equal to 2x divided by 2 is 12. So x is equal to 12. So there is the value of x. And how do we check this? Well, let's plug it back in. So here's our check. 2. Here's our check. 2 times 12 minus 5 is 24 minus 5 is 19 and look when we find the mid segment 22 plus 16 divided by 2 it really is 19 so when we plug it in we do get the mid segment at the end all right and the last example CB is the mid segment of trapezoid um, of trapezoid KLMN find the value of X okay we're gonna do the same thing so but we have to identify the bases so here are the bases this one and this one so we're gonna plug that into the formula B1 plus B2 which is 2x minus 18 divided by 2 so B1 plus B2 divided by 2 that's base 1 plus base 2 divided by 2 is equal to the mid segment which is 10 okay yes so that's how we set that up b1 plus b2 or you can make this b1 plus b2 instead of equal to the mid segment make sure you divide by 2 let's combine like terms 14 minus 18 is negative uh, 4 plus 2x is equal to 10 over 2 how do we solve this well what's the invisible number under any number it's 1 let's cross multiply 2 times 10 is 20 is equal to 1 times all of this is negative 4 plus 2x we're going to add 4 to both sides which is 24 equals 2x divide by 2 and x equals 12 there's our answer now um, let's see if that's really true let's plug that 12 in was 12 the answer? Oh, yeah, never mind. Yeah, 12 was the previous problem's answer. Okay, so, huh, what a coincidence. Now, don't don't think all the answers for trapezoids are 12, okay? It's just, it's a coincidence. So, let's plug this 12 in. 2 times 12 minus 18. Uh, 2 times 12 minus 18, 24 minus 18 is 6 6 minus oh sorry no, no, no. man my math is messed up right now 24 minus 18 is 6 so how does that help us out well if we did the midpoint mid segment formula 6 plus 14 divided by 2 is 20 20 divided by 2 is 10 and these match up. We do get the mid segment when x is equal to 12. All right, so those are trapezoids. Uh, so just remember exactly one pair of parallel sides, only two pairs of consecutive interior angles are supplementary, and the mid segment formula is base one.
plus base 2 divided by 2, the average of the two bases. All right, that's it. Trapezoids, have a great day. Mr. Q.